Greetings fellow Astroneers, welcome to the Atomic 6-7 channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build a base fast. Now I'm not talking 10 minutes fast, relatively fast, because I'm going to give you a streamlined plan that you can follow casually, which means not stressed out running around with your head in a whirl and all that. You can do it at a comfortable pace, make excellent progress, and have all the basics and some extras that you may not think you can achieve in a relatively short amount of time. Now, with this video, what I've done is, in my editing software, I've taken all the clips and I've cut out the areas where I took breaks. Because I don't know if all of you know, newcomers to the channel may not know, I have a severe back injury, so I take very frequent breaks. So those portions are removed. Once I do that, what you're left with is the pure in-game footage when I'm actually playing the game. Even when I'm kind of standing there thinking and doing things like that, that's in there, but I cut it out because you don't need to see me standing there thinking. But the clock will reflect that change. I've put what I call an atomic clock <laughs> in the top right corner of the screen, and I stretched it across the entire clip. So even when I make jump cuts, you'll see that time change to reflect that jump cut. So basically what I'm trying to tell you is there's no fancy tricks, there's no gimmicks, no baloney. I'm showing you the honest to goodness amount of time it took me to achieve what you're about to see. So I hope this helps you out because if you start this today, August the 29th or the 31st, the last day to get the Lunar Lem achievement, you could still do it and you don't have to kill yourself. You've got the better part of three days. You can break it up over the three days or sit down, do it in one crunch and you won't be stressed. So let me show you how to do it and I hope you have fun and enjoy it. Let's get started. Alright, here we are, zero hour and two seconds counting. I'm at the game launch screen because I want to show you that I am indeed starting a new game, so I'll take you through that with me as well. Yes, please. Launch time. We're go for landing. So the first thing I want to do is, after everything unfolds, is walk over to my drop platform and uh, get my supplies dropped to me that's going to give us our starting equipment. So you only want to hit this button once because after you set everything up, if you come back and do it again, well, it's going to package everything up and just place it back here. So you'll be sad. <laughs> All right, so we'll get our medium printer set up over here. There's the platform. And there's the printer. Boom. Three minutes in, plug it in. And now we're going to start gathering up our compound because the first thing we want to make is a couple of tethers because as you see that blue oxygen bar at the top of my tank is going down fast so we need to make some tethers and then just take a jog back to the habitat to replenish our oxygen and then we'll go back out there with our tethers to maintain our oxygen supply and keep my battery pack charged as well and we're going to gather up all the compound primarily what we need in advance so I'm going to recommend that you grab 33 compound and grab a little research while we're at it. If you bring those little ones back to the uh, research chamber at your habitat, they're worth double the points compared to if you scan them on the spot. Just a little tip there. So now we'll tether back out and not far from the base we also have resin and we're going to grab around 32 resin, give or take. We'll just put that organic aside because we don't need that right now and I'm printing some canisters from my backpack because that's going to enable us to have the ability to level soil. So the top canister as you see there that's what it looks like when it's empty. When the canister is filling it has the yellow light and you'll see that white bar inside increasing as it fills up and then when it's all full the canister light turns green and that's important to know if you're mining soil just to put into your soil centrifuge you don't want to you know take out more than you need if the canisters are full you're not serving a purpose hey look at that a small wind turbine i'll take it thank you all very much all right so i just make little indentations in the ground temporarily just to house all my different stuff don't go too deep though because if you go too deep well, you might fall through the map <laughs> And we're going to gather a couple pieces of research because we want to get our research chamber up and functioning as soon as possible. So two resin to make the platform A for the research chamber to sit on and two compound and one resin for the chamber. Uh, 
there we go. So those are already unlocked by default, so you don't need research bites for those. And I'm just grabbing some research and some other little incidentals along the way, and then I'll beanbag toss these back, because I'm going to build four chambers total, so I'm going to want to have at least four large pieces of research up and ready to go. Make our second platform A, and start unfolding the first one, and level off the ground in anticipation. And when you plug in your platform A, you want to make sure you're going from the power source to the unit that needs the power. All right, unfold the third one, do a little bit of rearranging. This will change, you'll see later in the video. <laughs> it always does. And now I'm loading up to build our research chambers. One resin, two compound. And boom, our fourth platform is done. But as you see here, the trick is you don't have to run around like a chicken with your head cut off. You just need to keep moving. There we go. Next. Use your time wisely, but please do pause your game and take breaks. All right, get our first piece going, 500 bytes coming up. Now I pluck these off of these little bushes and stuff because they rematerialize every so many minutes. So I give them room to do that and you can scan them or I just put them in a pile. So we're going to gather up clay now and we're going to need three clay to make ceramic later for our landing pad. And again, pile these up. I'll come back and scan them all later. Now I'm just gathering some more large research pods while everything else is going over there. Because from this point, we need research, research, research. So we can get bites. Oops, some tethers. Thank you very much. I'll take it. And a work light. Very nice. Thank you. A little more research. And look, more backpacks and some extenders. All right, so this one has a little research pod on it. Gave us 321 bytes. I'll grab those extenders and back to the base we go with our little research pods. So see, you don't need the tractor or the rover right away. You just give these a toss. You don't have the bytes or anything available to make the tractor or the rover yet. So just be patient. Have fun with it. Okay, third is done. Put it in place. And here comes our fourth. We're almost ready. Now this is gonna stress our non-existent power grid at the moment. We're only running off of power from the Habby. So that's why I grabbed the little small wind turbines and anything else like that along the way and bring it back so I can start building a power grid. While those are cooking, I'll grab more research. And don't forget to dig out these salvage wrecks because you can find a jackpot. Glass, ammonium, and clay right there in a medium storage. Scan those all up. Every little bit counts, trust me. Now it's time to build our smelting furnace. And that's our soil centrifuge. And we have enough bites, as you see, to build a landing pad. And we can unlock the small shuttle. We can unlock pretty much everything now, because all you need in total to build the basic base is 5,250 bytes. And then I'm going to show you some extras. If you want to go out and gather some additional research to gain some additional bytes, I'll show you how many bytes you'll need grand total. So now we'll print our smelting furnace, two resin, and one compound. So I had to unplug the research chambers so I can run the printer, because like I said, we don't have much uh, power to draw off of right now large platform B that's going to be for the smelter because that's going to enable us to put medium storages on the side wings there so we can have our items come off of the smelter and just neatly go into those little side trays. So we're going to plug this into an extender and then from the extender into the smelting unit. Grab our three clay and now we're going to make ceramic. There we go. We'll build a medium storage later. Another platform B. I'm going to plop that down right over here. And I planted these here. You'll get seeds, as you see, from those little plants, those spitting plants. You can plant one, and then it'll regrow, and you can scan it again. They give you a little research. So now, soil centrifuge time. And we can unlock our drill mod 1 because we'll need that in case we run into some hard bits of rock as we're mining for other resources. And there's our laterite. We'll need that to make aluminum. So we're going to gather up six laterite to make six aluminum. You can gather more while you're there, but whatever. 
and load our laterite into our smelting machine to make the aluminum. And again, had to jockey the power. May as well grab some more research while I'm down here. Hungry, hungry, hungry. <laughs> All right, we have our aluminum. Put that on there, couple of compound, make our soil centrifuge. Centrifuge. <laughs> and voila, it's complete. Go ahead and set that up. And now we could take our soil canisters and we could start spinning soil into compound, resin, organic, clay, quartz, graphite, but we're going to do compound. We're three hours in and we pretty much have a lot of the big items that you need to really start having the game open other doors for you. I'm also going to later print some medium storage platforms to put on the side here so we'll have more capacity. And we're going to go ahead and print our landing pad. So here's our landing pad. We're going to build a large printer. We'll need that to build a large shuttle, and that could sit on a large platform A. We bring out our small printer, which you print from your backpack. Grab some ammonium. Put those over here. We'll be using those very soon, like now. And we're going to start building a solid fuel thruster. We're going to build two. I always take one along as a backup just in case anything happens. You don't want to be stranded. Large platform A. So we've got our two thrusters cooking. There we go. Plug it in. And now we can start building our first shuttle. Level out a nice big section of ground to place our landing pad on, make it nice and level, making it pretty. And now we'll expand it, get the ramps out, shuttle open, and our solid fuel thruster will open that and plop it on the bottom there. And the shuttle is done. Stop the clock at three hours, 22 minutes and 47 seconds and I spent a little time afterwards, about another hour or so, gathering more research and look at all the battery packs and wind turbines and small wind turbines that I had found, all for nothing. I also built the tractor and the three trailers so I can go out and collect the research. So I spent a total of about another hour, a little over an hour, gathering up the research piles that I had already created along my travels and picking up all those little power items that I put aside to come back and retrieve later. And then I made some glass out of quartz and uh, made a bunch of oxygen canisters. Then I printed some medium storage platforms to put on the sides of the platform B's for the soil centrifuge and the smelter. So now the stuff will come out of the machine and just plop right down on the storage trays. So because everybody learns a different way, some people are visual creatures and some people are more text and book related creatures. So I don't think any tutorial would be complete without offering both versions. So I've created this chart out of a spreadsheet for you. And if you look at the top, starting from line number two under item, it tells you everything you're going to need to do step by step as soon as you jump out of your rocket and open up your base. So you're going to go gather the compound to make the tethers. And after you do that, you go gather the resin to make the soil canisters and all that. And how do you know you need to gather compound and resin? Well, just look across the line. It's going to tell you what printer that each item is printed out of. And it's going to tell you whether it's locked or unlocked by default at the start of the game if it is locked how many bytes and then it's going to tell you in resources okay i need resin and compound and then it's going to tell you how much and then lastly in some of the areas i give you some side notes about the items so please read them thoroughly and pay attention and then if you go down to the light blue i give you the totals that you're going to need 5250 bytes in total to set up everything that you saw there the basics and then the totals for each of the resources that you're going to need to go out and gather that way you could do it all at once and then underneath 
the additional items, well, that's like we talked about the chemistry lab and uh, the tractor and the trailers and then some really late game items like the atmospheric condenser and all that. But I put those in there on that section and gave you the totals under that. And then down at the very bottom, I tell you a little bit about the wonders of Astronium. So when you get to the point where you want to dig down to the core of the planet and you collect the resource Astronium, if you put that into your research machine, that gives you a thousand bytes per sample. So if you have those four research machines going, you'll have 4,000 bytes and it takes 25 minutes to process that. And that's give or take 25 minutes. It depends if you have a strong enough support for your power grid. So like if it slows down a little bit or speeds up, you know, based on the wind and the sun. But uh, 4,000 bytes every 25 minutes, not bad. And then down at the very bottom, I talk a little bit more about the backpack and how to use that with the Astronium. You know, not only loading up your tractor and trailers with medium storage and carrying it up on that, but you can also load up your backpack with it as well. So take a screenshot of this and uh, keep it on your PC or on your phone and uh, you'll be able to look at it as a handy reference as you go along. And speaking of handy references, I have one that is a gold mine, a wealth of information. I did not create it. This I got off of Astroneer Wiki, and this is the resource tree. It tells you on the left all the natural resources under mining, and then what you can get out of each of those when you smelt it, atmospheric condenser, what needs to go in the chemistry lab to make what, and then down the bottom towards the right side, the planetary legend, it, it'll show you uh, what planets, primary and secondary and universal that you can find these elements on. Just a, a great resource. And I also coupled it together with the keyboard and mouse controls. So just in case, you know, you step away from the game for a while and uh, you wanna become familiar with the controls again, you bring up this chart and you have it all right in front of you here. So I hope all this has helped you out. I really do appreciate you stopping by and watching it. Let me know what you think down in the comment section. I really do enjoy talking to people about the adventures and games that we play. And also, when you look down in the description, and please click on the link to join my Discord channel, The Atomic Colony. I'd love to have you as one of our atomic colonists, so please do consider joining. So until next time, please take great care of yourself, okay? And bye for now. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing. Please click that thumbs up button too. And activate that notification bell, or I'll come to your house and sit on your couch in my boxer shorts. Thank you, and see you next time. Ciao, baby.